In this video, we're going to discuss Granny Flats. It's an Adrian player here. Um, and mainly, we're going to discuss uh, the valuations that come in on Granny Flats. Now, bear in mind, if we're looking at a big six bank, it's very similar to how they look at a duplex. So if you go ahead and you uh, purchase land and then you want to make a build for a duplex, a lot of banks um, in the initial valuation phase will look at a duplex as no, not two separate dwellings. They'll look at it as one separate dwelling. And when they do that, they will go through a period of time where the valuation comes in short. Okay, so if your land is 500,000 and the build is 500,000, you will have a lot of banks that won't say the build um, is going to be the end valuation and they won't care about what that um, build will, will cost and what it will actually come to in value after it's been built. No, most of the time they'll treat it as a single dwelling. Okay, and then you'll be in a position where you'll have to cover the shortfall. So if they only value it at 400000 but the bill's five hundred, then that money comes out of your pocket. It's a very simple concept that happens with, um, with granny flats as well. A lot of the time the banks, when you do the initial valuation and construction contract, they think that you're overcapitalizing on the block. And uh, most of the time, if it's 125k for the granny flat build with 25k allowance for your fences, your side access, your driveway and your council, then um, a lot of the time you're going to have to cover most likely about 50 to 75,000, so up to about 50% of the value. Now obviously um, you're putting 150,000 in. And in a lot of the granny flats that I will be putting in in Brisbane, uh, most of them I'll be getting between 300 to 340 rent back. All right, so I am in a position where I'm getting, you know, all my money, maybe 10 to 11%, which is well worth it. All right, but if you're in a position where you're buying um, investment properties and potentially you want to sell them at a later date, then maybe granny flats aren't for you, but for me, uh, this is just what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy 8 to 10 to 12 properties total. And then when I'm in my consolidation phase, I'm going to put all the granny flats on it. I'm going to up my yield to 6% or 6.5%. Then I'm going to use that cash flow to pay down the debt. And then I'm going to use that to buy my, my wife's dream property. So we're going to do a, a large cash out across the portfolio and pay um, for my wife's end goal property in cash. And then we're going to use that cash flow to um, pay down the debt and also give us the opportunity to potentially keep on buying if we want to every year after that because we've got the yield so much. So that's really what we're doing, um, and this is really just talking about granny flats, and a lot of people think that granny flats work very similar to a, a house build where you can potentially only put 10 or 15 grand down on a 150 grand build, but it's not really the case. So just be ready for the 50 to 75 grand that they'll ask off you and the shortfall in the valuation. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, then, bye.